All right, Joey Strube here, Bike Man Performance. Just gonna do a quick little video on how to pull the clutch and uh, get it off your Can-Am X3. So uh, first thing you gotta do, take a 7 8 socket or a 22 millimeter on an impact gun and go to the bolt right here. Pop this out, there's another set of threads. You gotta come out past that. And then uh, using your bike man puller uh, with the 64 on it, thread that in. And make sure you get it in good uh, few turns by hand first, just to make sure you're not cross threading it. And then this one's been off a few times, so it might come off a little easier than yours does, but. Uh, then you just run it home. And then uh, with the suspension squatted just a little bit, it doesn't come out too bad. All right, so this is this portion where we show you how to uh, separate the clutch. First you'll need uh, to take your uh, top hat piece You'll see all the holes line up right over the top of this here, and you'll need a, a 13 millimeter device to tighten these up. Uh, they just need to go snug, they don't need to get extra tight, so I just use my 3 8 impact. A little small one, just barely put them in. Definitely don't want to strip them out. Then we uh, flip it over. And for this portion, uh, anytime you're using high pressure impacts and stuff, you put safety glasses on. So basically, take your uh, longer puller, I'll tell you what number it is here uh, the 062. Spin it in there. Now you want to get a firm grip. Firm grip on this because uh, it's going to come apart with some force. So hang on to it. There we go. Just like that. She's apart. Make sure you keep all these in the same order. Now, when you take this portion apart, you don't have to worry. There isn't any spring pressure. Now this is as high as I take it uh, if I'm just installing weights. And if you install weights, I'll pull this apart just so you can see. Be careful, there are uh, washers and uh, like little fiber guys here that are held in with rubber O-rings. So you wanna make sure none of them go rolling away on you. So that's what it looks like. The extra spring is inside of this portion. So if you wanna uh, disassemble the the inner cap, you do have to put it in a holding device. And I can show you what that holding device would look like. Uh, something like this piece here. So you put it in there, spin this down, you can Make one of these yourself pretty easy. Just regular parts at the hardware store. 